J-Man here for a comic book review, The Rocketeer One-Shot by IDW. Little Rocketeer head there. I have not gone to the comic shop yet, so if you saw my other videos, I've been reviewing some of the stuff digitally. Um, I was only going to pick up The Scorched this week. Probably still am. I might grab a Lady Death. There's a Lady Death comic that's out, so maybe I'll grab that. I was going to grab The Rocketeer, but I've had second thoughts. Um, I'm going to review this comic using my space system. Story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Each category gets a score between 0 and 2. 2 is the best you can get in any category. If I give a 2 out of 2 for the storyline of this comic, that doesn't mean that the storyline of this comic is better than the storyline of Alan Moore's Watchmen or V for Vendetta or something like that, or um, Frank Miller's Daredevil run. Like, I usually, re well, I review comics based on themselves and their peer group. Now, The Rocketeer is a little weird. I have never read any Rocketeer comics except this one. I love the Rocketeer movie. I have, I have or had, I don't know if I gave it away, but I had the novelization of that. Rocketeer movie is one of my favorites. I have it. I love this kind of style of heroes. The pulp guys, I have an entire, like I have an entire shelf of Defenders of the Earth stuff, but then down here, I have tons of pulp stuff. Um, if you've seen some of my pulp reviews like Operator 5 or G8 or um, The Spider, who's my favorite, uh, I've got a big Doc Savage statue. There is a pulp show this weekend and I'll be doing a video um, of all the cool stuff. I cannot wait. I love The Shadow. Um, all the, like, it, like, I like, And I like these kinds of old school heroes, like even like Zorro. The Phantom is one of my favorites, Flash Gordon. So Rocketeer just falls so beautifully in that, you know, there's there's uh, Commando Cody, I've got, I've got those serials. Uh, I love movie serials, you've seen me review these on my channel. They do all have separate playlists, serials, pulps. So if you do like that kind of stuff, um, check out some of my reviews. I, I'm actually very happy with those reviews and I'm very happy collecting those things. So I was kind of pumped for this. Uh, if, okay, if a comic gets a one on every category, that means it's a pass. A five out of 10 is a pass. Um, any Five or six is okay. And then seven or eight is like really good. And then um, nine or 10 is obviously amazing. So my system does give advantages to comics. Like most comics should be like a five or six because you're buying it, you're buying it because you're interested in it. I'm rating this on how well it plays to your interests. So this is not going to get a 10 out of 10. Like I gave uh, The Scorched a 10 out of 10 because if you're a Spawn fan, you are looking for specific things and that comic delivered all of the things you could ever want out of a Spawn comic. This did not deliver everything I want out of a Rocketeer comic, but it did deliver some good stuff. So let's get into it. The story. I'm going to give the story a 1 out of 2 because this is an anthology and that's usually okay but none of the stories really played anything to me. This one's about Amelia Earhart. It's very fast. Basically, Cliff gets a, a, a letter, he goes to investigate, and it goes. It shows a little bit of a backstory that he had met her and he gave her this little trinket from the Cracker Jack box. Um, and then she gave him uh, uh, her wings, she pinned the wings on him. So he goes to find her and they're like, oh, there's like some island. And um, he goes to the island um, as Rocketeer and he, you know, he sees like that she hung these in a tree or she hung the trinket in a tree. That is it. I was getting into this story and I thought, oh, this is getting really good. And then it just ended. And I love short stories. That's the type of writing I do. I publish short story books. Um, I just published a short story book now. I just published a new book today uh, of short stories, real short. These are all short. They're like five, well, five to 10 pages each. That's it. They're short stories. I love short stories, but I feel that this didn't do anything for me. I wanted more out of this one. Um, it was still good. I was very intrigued. So I'm giving, I'm still at a one. The next story is he's late for this professor who's going to talk, who's going to do a talk. And he, and, and they're, they ask him to wear this hat. Uh, Betty asks him to wear the hat. And he, and then there's some scuffling there. Someone tries to steal this thing. And um, there's a bit of a spoiler. I won't spoil it. And there's a cameo from a character that was really neat. So 
I was cl I'm close to giving it a 1.5 for story because this story was really fun. Um, <clears throat> I'll give it a 1.5. I'm gonna give it a 1.5 for the story. The next one is just the Rocketeer flying around, reminiscing about you know Betty and just life and stuff. I mean that was fine. So I, I, maybe I'll, I'm gonna give it a 1.5 because of the cameo, but realistically it it probably is more like a one. Um, if that cameo wasn't there, I would have given it a one, but I'm going to give it a 1.5. Okay. No, no, no. You know what? No, I'm not going to, I'm going to give it a one. I lied. I'm going to give it a one. I will give it an extra point in the enjoyment factor because of that. The story is a story. Look, it, it's like it, it needed, they needed to be a bit better. So one out of one out of two for the story pacing. I'm going to give the pacing a two out of two because they're very fast paced, maybe too fast paced. This is where in this weird area where usually comics are very slow and they take forever to do anything. This one is really fast. Now fast pacing doesn't mean the pacing is good. It may have, it, it probably should have been a little bit shorter, but for the stories that they wanted to tell you, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the story should have been longer. So the pacing is off in the reverse. It's not that it's too boring. It's too fast. It's almost too fast. But for the stories that they wanted to tell, the pacing was fine. So I'm gonna give it a two out of two for pacing. Artistry, I'm gonna give it a one. Um, I actually thought this art was good. I, I like this art, it feels kind of more pulpy. This just looks like your art, you know, it's like, this is like your kind of your house art of the day, um, which I, you know, it's okay. So one is a pass, I'm giving it a pass. The first story, um, you know, again, it's just very like standard, so. Give it a one for that. <clears throat> Characters, I'm gonna give it a one. I love the Rocketeer. Cliff Secor is awesome. That's the only character we really get to know. Uh, Betty is kind of a drag in this. She's really irritating. I really like Jennifer Connelly in that movie. So I don't know why she became so irritating in this comic. So yeah, one. Um, An enjoyment factor, I'll give it a 1.5. So I would have given it a one, but I'm gonna give the 0.5 from the story into the enjoyment. The enjoyment factor is just any number I decide to give it based on what I liked or didn't like. I like this comic. I'm putting it to 1.5 because of the cameo, which I haven't revealed. That was kind of fun. And it was like, ooh, that's cool. And I noticed something was off when I was reading. I was like, oh, I think I know what's happening here. I was like, that's strange. I thought this sounds like something else I've seen. And then, oh, there you go. So overall, uh, what did I give it? A five, six, six point five out of ten. I'm giving it a six and a half out of ten. I think that's very fair. I, I, again, six point five out of ten means what I expected to get out of a Rocketeer comic. That's what I got. A six point five. I did not get a ten out of ten. Um, and you always expect a ten out of ten for your money, right? That's just my opinion. Um, there might be people out there that really enjoyed this and I don't think there's been Rocketeer comics for a while So they're probably like yeah, I'll get a Rocketeer comic. I might still buy this in physical form if For no other reason than to support The creation of another Rocketeer comic like they had a green uh, Green Hornet comic not too long ago, which I thought was pretty good I was reading that and it's just these comics don't come out too often so I might get it anyways, just to support them. And just so my comic shop knows that yes, that someone wants to buy Rocketeer comics, please do more. So hopefully they do do more. And if they do, I will definitely read them because I do love the Rocketeer. So that is my opinion on this. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the rating. Um, what would you guys give it out of 10? Or just general, I know like sometimes people don't like to do numbers. I, I don't like to do numbers really. I kind of have to because I need a way to communicate to you guys my opinion in the somewhat of a, I don't want to rant, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is trash. And then, you know, I, I don't, and I hate when people say this is a one out of 10, like one out of 10, like there's nothing good in this. Like, you know, this comic is still a six and a half out of 10. That's a pass, right? So if you're, if you're a super Rocketeer fan, you might give this a nine out of 10, right? Cause you're just like, I don't care. It's Rocketeer. This is just, there's guys out there eat up Rocketeer. So I was like, Rocketeer, like they came out with those little reaction guys, reaction figures, boom, gone. Like Rocketeer got, got I didn't get it. It's like, it looks crap. Rocketeer people, they gotta have it, right? So if you're a Rocketeer, if you're a Rocketeer fan, maybe this was really doing it for you. Also remember, I have not read all the, any other comics. Maybe this is how the comics always were. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I still enjoyed Rocketeer. I'm gonna definitely get another one if they do more. It's a one shot, but we'll see. Um, that is it guys. All right. Until next time.